Hello dear students, today I am going to discuss with you another case study which is given in the sample paper of class 10 mathematics. It says class 10 students of a secondary school in Krishnagar have been allotted a rectangular plot of a land for a gardening activity. Saplings of Gulmohar are planted in the boundary at a distance of one meter from each other. So you can see here these green arrows here. It is depicting the sapling. And these saplings are planted on the boundary at a distance of one meter from each other. There is a triangular grassy lawn in the plot as shown in the figure. So you can see here that PQR is representing this triangular grassy lawn. The students are to sow seeds of flowering plants on the remaining area of the plant. So whatever area is left, the children have to sow seeds of flowering plants on the same. So following questions are now based on this particular situation. Here also it is mentioned that this point A, you can see this point A, this point A is origin. Here it is seeing this point, you, can you see this point A? Considering A as origin, answer the questions given. Okay, so the first question is considering A as origin, what are the coordinates of the point A? You don't have to, you know, look into the diagram even. We know that coordinates of the origin, they are 0, 0. So C part is the correct answer. Let us see what is the next question. What are the coordinates of point P? So let us see where is this point P. So you can see that this is the location of the point P. And we will find the coordinates of the point P. So how do you read the coordinate of a point? We start with the origin. And then see, we move on the x-axis. So let us see how many steps we are moving. So one, two, three, four steps. And then we can see we have to move upwards. How many steps? Uh, let me mark it here also. So this is one, two, then three, four, five, and then six. It is given that all these saplings, Gulmohar saplings, are planted at a distance of one meter between them. So now can you tell me what are the coordinates of this point P? From on the X axis, we have moved four units, four, and then we have moved upwards six units. So the coordinates of the point P are four comma six. So can we see this answer here? Yes, A part is the correct answer. Okay, let us move on to the next question. What are the coordinates of point R? Where is point R? Here we can see the point R. Now you tell me what are the coordinates of point R. You can simply read. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here it is 5. So the co coordinates of point R are 6, 5. So let us see if we have this answer. Yes, 6, 5 is the first choice. It is also correct. Next question. What are the coordinates of the point D? Let us see where is this point D. Okay, here is this point D. So this point D lies on the x-axis. So this is the x-axis basically. 
so can you tell me what are the coordinates of the point d yes you need to count from the origin start counting and tell me what are the coordinates till 10 so we can see the points after that we will be counting 11 12 13 14 15 16 so point on the x axis general point is x comma 0 so what are the coordinates of the point d yes 16 comma 0 do we have this choice yes we have this choice so the answer is 16 comma 0 okay the last question very interesting what are the coordinates of the point p if d is taken as the origin come back to the figure here d is origin and we have to find the coordinates of p so that means we have to move on the left side of the origin so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so this point is minus 12 and height here is 6 so we have already seen this is 6 so minus 12 comma 6 let us see if we have that answer yes we have this answer so the answer of the fifth part is minus 12 6 okay coming back here you know in this figure we so many other questions can be asked let us closely see what other types of questions can be asked here. So here in this question, if you notice, if I ask you, what is the distance of the point R from the X axis? Yes, if I say distance, that means we are talking about perpendicular distance. So from the point R, what is this perpendicular distance from the x-axis? This is the point R. How do you find this? Yes, we see what is the value of the abscissa here. Value of the abscissa is 6. So that is the distance from the y-axis. What is the value of ordinate? Ordinate is 5 units. So that means R is at a distance of 5 units from the x axis. So what will be the answer? Answer will be 5. Okay, now I am asking what is the distance of the point R from the y axis? Then in that case, what you are going to see? Yes, you are right. In that case, we will be looking at the value of abscissa. So 6 units is the answer in that case. Right. So if we need to find out perpendicular distance from the x-axis, that means we will be looking at the ordinate. And then if you wish to find out the distance of the point from the y-axis, we will look it at we will be looking at the abscissa of that particular coordinate. Right. So this question can be asked. So there are so many questions which can be asked. It is basically the knowledge and understanding of the concept of coordinate geometry, which you have studied. So might be a square garden is given, which is, you know, yet to be uh, planted by sapling. So they can ask what is the area of that or anything related to coordinates or anything related to distance between the two points. So this all you have studied in your class. Okay. So I hope uh, this uh, case study is clear to you and uh, we, you need to practice, you know, questions which are based on the situations. So that is the main purpose. Otherwise, the questions are very simple, which have been asked in this particular case study. So have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.